I grew up in the muscle car age, simple, open, flat farming community in Morton, Illinois. Liked riding dirt bikes. Was lucky, kind of, that I had that simple upbringing. Made me want to move to the city and be part of something bigger one day. I had a passion for painting and drawing as a kid and parents that fed my appetite. I wanted to do more than just paint and draw. I wanted to tell stories. Ended up going to Northern Illinois University and enrolled in design. Didn't go so well the first couple years. But after that, I was able to get enough of a degree and a knowledge of design. I was very lucky to meet Robert Vogel. Bob called me up and essentially used these words, how would you like to be part of the design firm of the future? I was a 23-year-old kid, and having this real important mentor gave me a lot of confidence. He provided constant guidance and inspiration to set me on a course to be successful. Many of our early successes came through annual report design where you could take an entire company story and bring it to life. We were working day and night back then, and the Board of Trade was a big illumination. That work set in motion this freedom for VSA to be different. A lot of companies that saw how the Board of Trade's image came to life wanted that same thing. IBM, Coca-Cola, Kodak, and that opened us up from being somewhat of a regional player to a global player. I read an article about the executive team at Harley taking the company public. Drove up to Milwaukee, showed them our portfolio. I think at the time we had like four things in it. Couldn't stop talking about how excited I was. We got our first assignment for Harley that day. We had like 20 folder designs. And I remember the executive of Harley looking at me, he goes, you must like what you do. I'll take that one. That set in motion, 30 year ride, I'll call it. Working with Harley, it was candy. You can look at my career in sort of three phases. Act one was becoming the best graphic designer I could be. Act two was working within a larger group to collectively create great outcomes. My act three, designing an organization that can compete and outcompete a variety of competitors. For us, it was never about growing X percent a year. It was more or less realizing goals through hard work, through good coaching. I think what Bob had instilled in me was how can you design an organization to grow? You could say we're small compared to the large ad agencies, or we're big compared to more of a traditional boutique industry in graphic design. The vision in the beginning for VSA is the same vision it is today, design as a function for change. It's exponentially bigger and more exciting for me, and as a result, I've become more enlightened the simple philosophy we had that people will support what they help create. I spend most of my time and I get my joy from creating an environment where people can thrive. If I can create something that lasts another 30 years, that will be the biggest gift of my career.